Okay, the question of the day for this adventure. Have you ever eaten a worm? You know, the night crawlers, the things people use to go fishing with, the things that are out on your sidewalks after it rains, those disgusting, creepy, crawling creatures, slimy. Have you ever eaten one? I have not, and I don't think it's something I wanna do. But I got my buddy here from the show alone on the History Channel season eight, Jordan Bell. I think he looks like he's ready to eat a worm. You ready to eat a worm? Sure, I've eaten lots of worms. Oh my goodness, all right, let's go. All right, it's called a bait carrier. Look, it's $14.99 at Sportsman's Warehouse. Look at this, look at this. Some creepy crawly night crawlers. Uh, no. All right, here we go. We have a bait box. We have our good buddy Jordan Bell. Why are you getting out of the shot, Scott? Because I'm a little camera shy, okay? Camera shy. Well, we've got Ryan Morris here. I love your shirt. Show me your shirt. I'm a giant. What is that about? Giants and the Smalls. If you, if you uh, have a chance, go check it out. What's the website? Giantsandsmalls.com. Giantsandsmalls.com. We've got Giants and Smalls. <laughs> That's true. Giants 100 percent true. Smalls. All right, back to uh, eating worms. Dylan, have you ever eaten a worm? No. You've never eaten a worm? No. Ryan, have you ever eaten a worm? Not that I know of. Scott, <laughs> Giant? Uh, no worms. No worms. No. Well. Does anybody want to join me today? <laughs> That's is the anybody, question. Is anybody going to eat a worm with him? I want to keep my breakfast. I see. Down. I see. Yeah. Ryan's That's thinking about it. I was thinking about Ryan's it. Ryan's absolutely come, thinking come, about come it. Come on over here, by Jordan. Let's I'll see. give you a tutorial. Uh -oh. This is going to be a tutorial. This is a tutorial. I've eaten worms my whole life. Did they come out of the cow patty? That's what I wanted to know. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Here they are. Look at these guys. Look at look at the texture. <laughs> right there on that guy right there. That is some texture. I, I wonder what it feels like going down. Is it like slimy? Is it like, what do you compare it to? It is a little bit slimy. It can have a little bit of a bitter taste to it. Um, but I'll show you how to uh, make it a little bit more palatable. Now, these are high in protein. They're pretty much all meat. So they are actually a viable food source. I wished that there were earthworms in the soil when I was on alone, but they weren't. Um, but I always see people talk about if you do eat them, cooking them and everything. I've actually never eaten a cooked earthworm or nightcrawler. <clears throat> oh, that's a tiny one. I don't want that one. We need a good size one. So you can see it's intestinal tract all through there. Mm. And all they really do is they ingest dirt and extract the nutrients out of it and it passes through. So sometimes you get them and they are very full of dirt. And you don't want that because that makes it a little bit grosser. So you actually want to take your earthworm, grasp it. Did you get one, Ryan? Are you joining me? And you're gonna wanna squeeze out the end. What did you just do? You, you wanna like squeeze out the end and you force the poop out. And that poop is just dirt. So I assume some people didn't know that's what you're supposed to do. Well, it's as a earthworm connoisseur, that's the way to get the best flavor. Okay. And you can see the front end, it's closer to where I don't know the technical names, but that's where that end is right there. It's closer to the front end. And the back end, you just squeeze it out and try and get all that poo out of there. It's just dirt, but uh, yeah. So they're, they're basically surviving off the soil and any nutrients that are in the soil. Yep. And they're, they're so good for the soil. They, that's why you see all that. They go through and process it break it down it makes real that's real rich soil for growing right there so that's it once you have that done you're ready to eat them okay drum roll drum roll Scott Did you ever 
use Tabasco sauce with that. <laughs> Never tried it. Or A1 sauce. It's probably that. a good idea. Wow. Now, a question. Does your wife love to kiss you before or after you eat a worm? My wife stopped kissing me years ago after seeing the things that I do. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's amazing. Round of applause, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. All right. Any so, takers? Uh, Ryan. What? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to stick to my energy drink and Look, my omelet this here's, morning. Here's a piece that's much more palatable. That piece has a lot less of the gross stuff in it. Hey, come on. You can wash it down with the energy drink. Dylan? If, if, well, here's the thing. I would do it. I seriously would do it, but because of the heart transplant and immunosuppressants, I have no idea what it would do to me. And I'm in the middle of nowhere. So Paul's the only one that has a legitimate excuse. That's true. Mm. Yes. I'm a small. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're all being we're smalls. Really small. The only giant here today is Jordan Bell. <laughs> Thank you for joining us right here on this episode of All Heart Adventures. See you later. Oh,